Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today it's time for the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul Weekly Fun Time with Michelle and Nancy. And today it's going to be part one because let's tell ya, I'll tell ya. I um, believe I have had bronchitis this week. So, you will be finding out um, because I will have had out a, um, a notice that I'll put out on Instagram that uh, there's no sale this week. Um, I just, uh, at the certain point in time of the week, I was, uh, what I would believe to be, uh, more sick or more contamin or contagious, contaminated. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I just didn't want to take any chances. Today when I was at the bins, um, I, uh, I'm more, um, I wore gloves. I had a mask on part of the time, and um, if I wasn't sweating the whole time, I would have had it on the whole time. But um, I really wasn't coughing. I wasn't really talking as much either. So um, I was, you know, to myself. So um, for the s safety of certain other people's health, there will not be a sale this week. But you'll get two, two, two parts in one. No, it'll be in two. Um, but first I want to say hi, hopefully on this one, to Andrea, my girl at the bins. So she, uh, asked me if I was a reseller, like all the other people, mostly that shop there. And, um, or if we were, me and Nancy. And, uh, you know, both Nancy and I collect and sell. Nancy's got a case at an antique mall. And, you know, of course, I do the YouTube sales. So then uh, Nancy was like, you know, she's on YouTube and, you know, all that. So um, she's like, I want to see you on YouTube. So I gave her my YouTube name and all that jazz. So... She might be watching this, and unfortunately, or fortunately, some of the other people at the bins might be. And so, hey, now you can look out for your girl, right? And um, try to find me that hand. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, I see them often, and... Uh, at other Goodwills that I go to, I have never, ever, um, like, kind of talked to any of the employees about what I do. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. And this is the only time I have. And I don't feel bad about it because, you know, at this point, it, it's on its last leg, right? You know? So, anyway, uh, we will head on forward with this because... Got some good stuff, and uh, first, like, couple hours, I was on my own because Nancy had an appointment, a haircut appointment, and um, I believe I probably found more for her than I did for myself that first couple hours, but that was okay because I made up for last time. So anyway, here's the first, no, not the first thing, but, you know, first thing I'm going to start with. They brought out a different, um, I don't know if this is going to be a regular thing or what, but they brought out some different bins and put them up front. And they were things like signed baseballs and uh, like a home, a, a picture of the entire team of the Chicago Cubs and some other stuff. And um, I saw this and... I thought it was pretty cool looking and um, 
I mean, it has a, t a sticker on it, but that was from, you know, wherever it was in its previous life at a regular um, Goodwill. I so I just think it's really cool, especially as like a, um, a riser at Christmas time or something. And it's like, I think I got Nancy to find it. Said something, something bank. I don't know. I can't. It's really rough on the bottom here. But, you know. Oh, isn't this cool? Look and look at this. I mean, you could close it all the way, but I don't, I don't want to go through that again. Right now, I like that part of it more, even. It looks like a mini um, mail, like, you know, big mail thing. And then, I, so I don't know what this is. I haven't looked it up yet because obviously I haven't had time. And then these two things were in it. So I think they come undone. I'm not really ready to try to bust it open right now. Um, but obviously I will look it up and try to find it out what I can find out. Okay. Um, I got a few birthday cards, or cards, anyhow. Yeah, they're all birthday cards. Um, honestly, I use these, you know, as my, um, tucks in the packages that people, when people buy stuff. So, uh, I buy them when I find them. I bought this because, well, first of all, when I found this, um, it came out in a new a new um, bin by the purses. It was funny because it was like every bin at one point every bin that Nancy and I went to they started taking them away. Which is okay because then that means they're bringing out new bins but when you go for hard lines and I had a lot of conversations today and I found out a lot of different things about the rules for hard, line, hard lines and how they bring them out and so anyhow they um, they don't really uh, bring out all the, a lot of hard lines so when I walked in and I saw a lot I kind of walked rushed well now I know next time where to start and where to go on because I know where they won't replace. Anyway, we went to the purses and they started taking them away. The assistant is eating something that is distracting me. Whatever you're eating is distracting me. <laughs> anyway, so then, um, you know, when a new, when a new bin comes out, you have to step back and you wait for the bins. And so when this came out or when my new bin came out, I, I found it and this was stuck at the halfway mark. So I just threw it in my bag or in my, you know, my thing. And, and I kept on going, um, uh, you know, uh, my mom and I, and, uh, my mom's friend, we play cards. They play cards a lot, obviously, and I play cards with them when I'm around here. And um, so my mom has, like, a coin purse for every coin there is. And um, I don't know. I thought this was a cool one. And so if she needs it, then she might want this one, too, because she has a, a beaded one that I brought or tried to sell one time, was going to sell, but she uh, snatched it at the haul video. So um, this is hers if she wants to get it. And if she doesn't want it, then she can put it on the haul or the sale side. doesn't matter. All right. This, I saw it when I first went down this one side. And the only reason I went down it again was because... Nancy and I were looking for something 
And you know, by that point in the day, a lot of stuff had been shuffled around. So we did find <laughs> a lot of stuff then when we went back through there because, you know, I, I can't always lift everything out of my way. And sometimes I don't get to the bottom of everything. And usually Nancy's right behind me. So I, Nancy's always got my back. But um, this, my girl, uh, Beth, she's got a thing for lighthouses. And um, I, I, um, I wasn't sure about this one because I, I know she's really into the color blue and everything. So I kind of, I passed up on it. And then when, um, when Nancy and I went through again, I know, when Nancy and I went through again, um, we, she, she, you know, tossed it to me and, uh, so whoever tried to sell this the first time tried to sell it for $17 <laughs> and they put pink felt on the bottom. And now you guys can see that this is a cigar box and, um, you know, we see these often and sometimes they're made into purses and sometimes they're just, you know, not the best. Sometimes they're, they're too thin or whatever. So, um, this one, and I don't know if it actually closes. It might just be, need to be bent forward a little bit, but I'll have to see if she's going to want this one. But it is, it's really pretty. It's, uh, I don't know, it might be a little wintry for her, but she is from Chicago, so she might not mind it at all. And, um, especially once you live in a warm climate, then who cares, right? So, this might be in a upcoming sale. Oh, man, I did not see this. Okay, well, when we were rushing through, um, the second side... I grabbed this, or the second time, I grabbed this, but I didn't see that there, there's this, it's broken. So I will uh, give it to Danny, my soul sister, and because she, re remember, I was buying them for her, for this part, for a project with pictures. And so I'll just, this perfect, I'll just give this one to her. And... Um, oh, my gloves. I don't wear gloves all the time, but I, like I said, I did today. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I, I bought this and so, okay, we always have a contest like, uh, who can find more loose change. And I only found 11 cents today. And Nancy found like 58 cents or something. She kicked my butt. Well, I found this. This was in with the purses. That's where you find the most loose change, obviously. But not always. And I felt it. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to kick her butt now. Except that it was a pair of earrings. But look at those earrings. They are like sapphire. And they're clip-on. And like little marcasite or something. I don't know. There's not all the, um, there's like I think a missing stone on this one. But that, that, uh, blue is beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> isn't it, assistant, isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. 
Look at it. Oh, man. Oh, well, clip on. You got to be careful when you wear clip on earrings. Trying to get that blue glare right under the light, but well, let me see if you can just get it here. Oh, ooh, oh, there it is. See, see it? Oh golly! And I'm I'm pretty sure that's marcasite around it. So it's actually really they're they're really kind of pretty. You know, like. And that blue is real pretty. So, you know what'll happen. I'll have to check it out and see. Um, there was a fair share, as usual, of Christmas stuff. But this time, well, I wouldn't say there was more vintage, no. I I got some and maybe got more stuff today. I'm not sure. It's not all the best and uh, but it is all good to use, you know. Um and stuff you can blend in with the vintage. Uh so yeah. Anyhow, this though, oh wait. Um, I got these, and there's only three of them, but they are like, I believe they are brand new. They're Cynthia Rowley, who is a great designer. So these, these are probably from um, TJ Maxx. Anyhow, I got these for the assistant, um, if she's willing to accept that there are only three and not four, because she's got a setting space for four. Or six or eight. Or six or eight, whatever. And possibly next week, I'll find another one. You never know. So, if if she doesn't want them, then you'll see them in July. <laughs> At the very end of the day, um, like I said, we found that, that, I found that thing. Nancy was still behind looking at something else. And, um... And I called her over to see that, that, um, that all the stuff and the towels and, um, is this stuck together or is this just, I thought there was something else in here. Maybe not. Anyhow. Oh, it was, wait, letters of notepad. Oh, there were sheets that came. Okay. So there was a sheet of paper in here. A pad of paper in here and uh, that's why it was $7.95 but um, and it's a little you know I don't even remember throwing this in my cart you know that because that's when we started talking about uh, my YouTube channel but it's uh, pretty and with the tulips and the E and so it could be used by somebody with an E. And also these, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny that one of these ended up in there because I kind of wanted to grab one of these when I saw it and I didn't. So I'll tell you what about that in a second. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this either. Oh, they're so cute. So, you know, I do not really like to buy anything that's made in Japan. I mean, made in China. But, occasionally, you will find things that are made in China that are the vintage China. Vintage time, period. Oh made in China things that are good. So, this is some of them. But, 
I only saw, okay, so at first I only saw these. Now they even have stickers, okay? They say PA, I don't know, like it wants to say Panda, but I'm, I'm gonna have to see if I can figure it out. If I can, that's great. If not, that's all right too. But um, AA Importing Inc. Mentor Ohio made in, made in China. But there was another one that said something else on it. I'm almost sure of it. Huh. Oh, I, maybe I saw something upside down. So, anyhow, I have several of these picks. And they got a long, long stem, so you could be making some good stuff with this. Somebody stapled right into these first three. Anyhow, um, so there's, I don't know how many. One, two, three, four... Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these, I think, maybe. And these are the ones that I saw, like, just after I picked them up. So, these, mm, they'll probably go in on the sale block. But these? Oh, oh man. Look how cute. And then I'm like, just now realizing these could just be large safe uh, paper clips. That's what these might be. Oh, that would be so tedious to do that. Uh, not for this girl. But. Um, yeah, there's two of them. I thought there were three, but maybe not. Maybe there's one in there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So we'll see. We will see. And, um, I don't know if my box. Oh, yeah, there. So I always grab a little box when I get there. If I see one, I should have looked for a bigger box. I got to start doing that. Some days are just better than others when it comes to the littles. So, um, and also it's sometimes you don't want certain things to get broken. And you guys know the littles are so much fun sometimes too. So, anyway, <clears throat> um, I got, uh, I started seeing these at the beginning, okay? And so, I started grabbing them, and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't get them. But then I saw a few more and more, and then when I went back at the end, then I found the last few, few that I could probably find. And so, two, four, six, eight, ten... 11. Oh, there's 12. <laughs> there's probably more, maybe, in my stuff here, but I don't know. But um, I decided I'm going to start making little, um, like, bits. Uh, like, what did I decide? I kind of was thinking about it in my head when I was driving. Bags of bits. Bags of bits. Okay. And they'll be like the little sandwich bags, right? You know, and they'll have these little different, like some might be Christmas, some might be regular or whatever. And for those of you that do make um, assemblages or other things, then you'll be able to use some of these. And that's in there. I have a handful of things that I got 
at a regular Goodwill that I had run into. It's, I can't remember when even. Um, for like 20 minutes. And I got some things. And um, I got some... A uh, couple of bunt pans again, and I got some other, uh, they're not the regular kind of tins, I, but they're a little different. Or they're very different, actually. But <coughs> they'll be good for um, these types of things. So here's a good one, a, a little, little fella. Um, he's just a little, a little, uh, snowman. So he'll, you know, go in one of those things. And, um, so some of these, you guys know you like these little trees. This one is, um, not made in, um, Japan or anything. So, you know even more likely that you wouldn't mind using this in a, oh, in an uh, assemblage or something like that. And um, here's another one. Now this, I don't, I'm not sure about this one. It's uh, not marked. And <laughs> I got this. I got to, I got to check this. No, it's, so it's covered. I got to peel this off. I think it's got either sticker or, oh, oh, I just ripped it. Okay. Oh, well, I can tape it up and it'll be fine. I think somebody was trying to make a magnet out of this. It's a little pug. Mike, 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 Mike. So I'll tape that up and we'll see how it turns out. It'll be fine. I'll throw a magnet on the back of it too. Um, I I didn't find this, but I I accepted it. Um, this is a dreidel. Uh, Nancy said, "Do you want a dreidel for your for your thing?" And I said, "Yeah." I said, "You know, um, I don't know." anything about using it except how to spin it but that some of you all might you know be interested in a bag of bits that has a dreidel in it um i got this this is for me because you know i collect dice i got this and well so this could okay i figured this I don't know. It's weird because that looks like a foot. That needs to be clipped off. That looks like a foot. And it, it might have been. <laughs> but, but there's a wire there, so I want to leave that there because that could be used as a pick. So I'm going to like try to gather some things like this that might be from like a train set or a village or whatever that could totally be used in your um, assemblage. It's like this tree. And it is, yeah, it's just a it, like a toy tree probably from one of the villages. I did see some Department 56, but they were just carolers and I've had them before and they didn't sell, so I didn't get them. This I found at the very end and you know I gotta save the misfits. Oh, poor Santa. He's lost all his... Somebody has rubbed all his felt off. <laughs> but he's at least got both of his eyes. He's also got one that has lost an eye. Um, This I thought would be really cool for one of the... For somebody to make a... Um, I'm thinking of you, Lindy Nita. Making some cool uh, assemblages with... Uh, like some of the different tins and stuff where this would hang down. And I thought that was super cute. 
Um, this one, oh, I don't have to paint this. It, oh, yeah, I do. Well, I'm going to try to erase this because I don't need 1993 on there. But um, this is a, a Fontanini, uh, right? It's, uh, um, I, I know it's Italy. And... Does that say okay I'll show you and then maybe the um my assistant can figure it out but I believe it's Fontanini so there it says uh, Italy and I don't know what that says maybe that's the person that made this one but if it's a Fontanini that's good um this is same thing well this is it says de depose depose i don't know italia i think that's what it says you know I'm, i should have i i need to pull out my uh magnify glass sometimes when i put it up here i can even see it better so uh i think it's italian so that's awesome and um not though it's not she's that's the one that hangs from the crash oh, Lord. <laughs> my assistant needs a baby jesus for her um she's got a beautiful the most beautiful nativity scene that she made when i was a kid it well she didn't make it she ceramics it's ceramics she painted it and now when i was a kid it was like 50 years ago so you can imagine. And I love it. I always loved it. But she doesn't have, just like most of you, or a lot of you, she doesn't have a baby Jesus. So I found her baby Jesus, and it was too little. Too little. So I'm still on the lookout. But she tried to, that cherub is supposed to hang from the crash. Not... <coughs> It's a, it's a, it's got wings, Mom. That's not baby take Jesus. The oh, take the wings off. Take the wings off an angel. That you're probably gonna pay for that in a bad way. So this is another Italy, and so I'm thinking, I think, and I think, um, Nancy even said that these are Fontanini. So. And then the finale of those pieces, which I didn't even find these all together. Like, I found some of these before. I found this before she got there. Um, and uh, it's just the baby. Uh, it's the... Yeah, baby Jesus's <laughs> bed. I was trying to think of the word bed or crib, but it's not a bed or a crib. It's his little... bassinet of hay <laughs> so um anyway 1983 on that one and the funny thing is of course there's no jesus <laughs> but i grabbed it because uh because it's not just made in china or anything so um i got this it's just i don't it's just cool i don't know if it's a game piece I thought at first it was a button, then I saw the whole thing, and and it's it, it's too thick to be a guitar pick. Well, I mean, not that I would know, but I'm pretty sure it's too thick, and it's round. A guitar pick is not round, so no. <coughs> See, she's making me. Um, so it's cute. It's swirly and all that jazz. Um, 
I found this one, and I believe, so I know you guys, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe things are changing, but last year you guys got a little, I don't know, you went a little cold on the on the uh, wooden ornaments. I, I, I The year before, hot, hot, hot. Then last year, cold. So this year, I only got ones that are a little different, you know. And um, matter of fact, there are even some that I was like, mm, not even, I'm not getting them, no. Because they just look a little busted up or something. So, um, so we'll see. Um, I got this little Mickey Mouse. I don't know what year he's from. Doesn't matter. Um, I thought, oh, and it's from McDonald's. So it's part of something. I don't know. Oh, it's a Disney's 100 year anniversary. So I don't know. And it looks like it could come off of this little stand that he's on. But I just, I know that a lot of you are Disney fans. And um, by the way, spoiler alert, there's a really cool, is it in this bag? No. In part two, there is going to be a really cool, Disney item that I would not have put money on to think was a Disney item. That's all I'll say for now. Anyhow, this looks so cool on top of, oh, now I wish I had one of my pieces that, you know, like a, a one of my tin things, but it's, it's in, under there and I can't, I can't reveal that right now. So there. <clears throat> I got this. This is awesome. Still has its beak. Well, yeah, still has its beak and its tail. And so, um, I don't, I didn't see a mark. I'm looking again. So this is a really good one. You guys know I had a couple of these before. And I found several of these, and I was all excited. And then I saw the backside of one, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> They're not vintage, but I still grabbed some because they're cool. So, you know, a couple of these might get stuck here and there in a... Um, bag o bits I don't know what this green thing broke from, so I'm putting it in here. Um, I think I mentioned that Nancy won, so here's the 11 cents that I uh, came up with. That's it. Pretty sad. Wah, wah. I um, found a bag. Or, no. It, yeah, it was a bag. It was a bag full of bits. And so I tore it open and I started going through it. And I found some things. And then I just said, you know what? I'm going to take them all. Because it came down to one was left. And I thought, you know what? It might mean something to somebody else. Or they might want to do something with it. It's old, that's for sure. It's rusted out a little bit behind it. But this is the one that I'm not familiar with says four low tours and it's about yeah a bit, little bit bigger than a nickel um in this one education yes february 28th um i don't know what year or what year that was but i'm sure i might have somebody that recalls this was probably in a, a, a referendum, an addendum, a referendum, uh, uh, on a vote. There you can see it, clear. It's a little smaller than, I mean, this one I had to get because Easter's coming up and it says he is risen. Of course, it won't, you know, help you getting it now, but you'll have it for next year. And then this says 
I am an active member of Ranger Rick's Nature Club. Now, first of all, I am not an active member, nor am I a non-active member. And secondly, I am uh, clearly doing this for you because you guys know that I am not a fan of that critter. Most of you know that there are three or four critters that I... But for you, occasionally I will. And then this one, it says, I am a Sambo's tiger. And Sambo's used to be a, a restaurant here anyway. And this is one of those that folds over just like that ranger one was. But anyhow, sometimes people collect certain things. And so this one, <laughs> this one I got purely for the laughs and also for people that collect. And it says, Nixon's the one. <laughs> so there's that. I found this early and I'm so glad because I guarantee if I didn't find it when I got, and I didn't get in there until like 20 after, 25 after 9. And um, I guarantee you, if I had been half hour later, this thing would have been destroyed. <gasps> Excuse me. And this is staying with me. Oh, look how cute. Oh, so good. So... Now, this thing I found, and I knew it was something. You guys know I got a, I got an eye for things, and sometimes I just don't know what it is that I'm looking at, but I still got the eye. Um, I was like, is this, I asked Nancy, because she knows so much of this stuff. She has either had it, or maybe like her, her, you know, parents or whatever had it. Or she just knows what it is. And I said, is this, a, is this a compass? Or is it a pillbox? Or, you know, like what? Because it's got the days of the week on it. I mean, I, <laughs> could be, maybe it's vintage birth control pill. <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> and um, so I need to do some tinkering. Oh, I hadn't moved this until now. So this might, oh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And Nancy said she thinks that there was a mirror over there, right there. So I am going to have to figure out how to open it. I'll work on that tomorrow. Although, oh, wait, I'm, maybe this is how I do it. If I get the lined up. I just am not sure. But anyhow, see, Monday, Tuesday, and all that jazz, I love a compass. And so, see, when I'm getting it closer to you, I can see it better. I'll be fidgeting with this tomorrow. And you know, one thing I'll do is I'm going to put a piece of paper over it and pencil and see what I can find. Oh, I'm excited. Put it with my 11 cents. <laughs> Okay, I'm not trying to be mean. There was a, a bag, okay? And I saw something and I was like, I had a good laugh. Because it means something. And I, I, I knew I had to have it. When I was holding it and Nancy walked up, she says, Oh, it's an ugly sweater set. Or kit or something she said and I was like okay again she knows these things and so um, I picked it up because <laughs> it says ugly 
and it's a little ripped on one side, but I don't care because the whole thing that's funny about it, and I really only need the pin even, I don't even care, but on Saturday Night Live, back in the days of Will Ferrell and Sherry O'Terry, and they did the Spartan Cheerleaders, they did a cheer, and I've, I know I've mentioned this over the last several years, a time or two. And um, anyhow, one of the cheers was, U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no well by you ugly. <laughs> so it's like a, a, a funny thing between uh, me and Tammy and my bestie, and then Bree, her daughter, and my daughter. But <laughs> actually, it's almost more between me and Bree now, but... Actually, it's just funny. That's what it is. So I gotta uh, take a picture of that and um, text it out. <laughs> okay, so here are more of those. So I'm gonna have to... I love the bell ones. I love those. And actually these two. I could be finding these for weeks. And I only go once a week, so... <laughs> so you guys know how well if you've purchased from me you know that I um, generally use postcards or recipe cards or some kind of card, um, like a single card to write a, a thank you note on. And then I put it in to an empty thank you card is what I usually like to use. Now, sometimes I'm out of, ink, out of thank you cards. And then that's when I use like, you know, birthday cards and stuff that I find. So it's our Christmas time, you'll get Christmas cards. Well, anyhow, I found this box of, it says, you are adored. <laughs> and it's Notes from the Universe cards, a 60-card deck. And um, this box, now, I'm, I'm, actually, probably going to have to take a look at how much they go for now, because these were $16.95. And that was 12 years ago. So, and I got like the whole set. And look how cool they are. So, um, I, I didn't see that before. So I'm putting it back in the box. But I'll read, I'll read one to you. And they all say a note from the universe. And this one says... You're the kind of person who saves so much time every month with wise decisions, creative thoughts, and simple kindness that if you were anyone else, you'd toot your own horn, take the next week off, and stop feeling guilty for not doing more. Really. The universe. And then it says, yes, simple kindness saves time. It also extends lives loudens laughter, and comp compounds interest. And yes, loudens is a word now. <laughs> and you know, that's cool, because I am all about laughter and simpleness and all that stuff. So this is, I don't know, this might be a, a, a set for one of you to give to somebody for a, as a gift. Because it's in this lovely gift box already. <laughs> Um, this was, it looks like a book cover, but then, because I was like, what? I said, Nancy, doesn't this look like a book cover from this side, you know? And then she's like, yeah, it does. And then all of a sudden, I pulled out this metal, like a, a thin metal. It actually looked kind of like a, 
um, a sewing pin, really thin, uh, like needle. That's the word I was looking for, needle. And but it had a hook, like a little hook. So or you know that where it would turn. And that's when I realized. I believe it was the cover of a, like, um, oh, what's the word? A box. Like a memory box or a, it could have been a music box, some kind of box. You guys know what I'm talking about. Can't think of the word. But anyhow, it's, I think this is, um, I think it's, uh, oh, the black stuff, the Asian What's the Asian black? Laminate. Like, a, I think this is a laminate, and it looks a little dirty on the bottom. I'll have to just, there's like a little scuff here that I'll have to clean up. But look how beautiful. And it looks like it could be the cover of like a fantasy book, right? Isn't that pretty? So, you know, you could, you know, the easy trick with, you could just use the back of a, um, you could use the, paper clip and some hot glue and make yourself a hook on the back. But anyhow, it's really cool. Lovely. Speaking of lovely, O M a G. Now this might have some issues, but holy heck. Um, the issues, I believe, I, I, and I don't know how, I, I don't know how this could have happened. I mean, they, they had, like, they, they must have used this thing as a dog pull toy or something. This is it inside out. This is the inside of a purse or uh, some kind of purse. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. And I sold one a couple months ago. And Gabby Licious, you told me what it was called. I can't remember. I remember where I got it. but So it was last year. And it might have been... In September, October, whichever was the last, I don't remember. How, I didn't get to a lot of flea markets, though, last year. So, um, anyhow, that's the inside. This is the inside. It got torn up. So, possibly, when you, I know, like, like, Gabby, because she works with, she does all that miniature stuff. Perfect for you, because... Well, first of all, because you appreciate this. And second of all, because you can work with the littles. Now, I still have to do my work and look into this. And then maybe I'll get the word I'm looking for. I don't know if there were charms on this. Because it looks like there should, you know, have been. Because why else would there be? all of these um, clasps, but check, check, check it out. And this is on both sides, you guys. I mean, what? I think these are what you guys would call seed beads. I'm not positive. But it is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys, oh, and this is in the perfect light for you to see it too. Perfect light. Oh, I know. I know. I don't know how I do it either. So, this is. Probably top three for sure. Top three for sure. Might be number one. I just can't remember what else I got yet. This is going to be, it's a large one, but <laughs> Nancy goes, here, you can put this in one of your bags. 
So, um, it's a large bit, but it's a bit nonetheless. Um... Uh, somebody I thought might like this little, little person sitting on a log out in the winter. It needs a, it needs a, um, either a hanging thing or just sit it on in your little vignette. Oh my God. The shoes are wood and look, they're like cut out. I got to put it against the white. Can you see that? Their heel. Oh, that's too cute. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to um, find a bunch of the littles. Okay, here's one. Oh, he's going to the island of the misfits, too. Poor Santa. I mean, I don't even have this little of a dancing Santa, but maybe he's just winking. <laughs> right? I think so. <sighs> also, this is not my thing, but I know a lot of people love little teddy bears and stuff. This is from 1985. It's a Nesco, and it was made in Taiwan. And look at that. I love that. I love something that you can clip on or something. Uh -huh. Love it. Alright. What else? What else? What else? Here's another tree. And I'm just going to be selling these trees because, I mean, as long as I'm finding them, I'm going to sell them. Uh, well, I mean, probably at July will be the next time that I'll sell Christmas stuff. But July comes faster than we realize. I found this case. And I was like, okay. The case looks right. And it says 15 puzzle. I'm like, what the heck is a 15 puzzle? No idea. And then I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's one of those... Yep, it sure is. And I and I pulled it out just a little ways. I didn't pull it out the whole way. I will right now. You guys, this thing, it's not vintage. I thought you could have fooled me. I mean, it, if it would have been brand new vintage if it was. But it is from 2000. Binary Arts Corp. Made in China. But... It has, it's good from ages eight to adult. Has the whole thing. And look, isn't that cool? I've never seen one that looked like this. I mean, in my day, it was a plastic. Uh, this was just all plastic. Plastic on plastic, you know? And uh, I just love this. Uh, you, you know, uh, this is one of those things they they got you for the ride up to up north when we were younger. You know, they shut us up till we at least got to the on ramp of the freeway. And uh, so, anyhow, it's and it's in. Um, it, I, it just caught my eye too when I opened it because it's uh, my kids' old high school colors. <laughs> so, anyhow, very cool. found this toward at the end and it is what you think it is it's a bank it's dirty and I need to clean it but it's a bank got myself a much needed belt I got this you guys look how pretty all that glitter I mean you know I know we talk about you know all the main Japan and all that stuff but when it comes to bottle brush trees 
to get one this size that is vintage, true, true vintage, you're going to be paying big time. So you just, you're just as well to get one of these when it comes to that. It's just sometimes where it's okay. Look at this. Nancy found this for me. Oh, for you. Because it sure don't fit me. <coughs> oh, dig it. Ah, oh, make it fit me. <laughs> All right. Oh, I found. This is the first time I ever found one of these. It's a coach dust jacket. Now, I know that when you get coach bags, there's like, you know, you could easily get a fake um i know people that sell this stuff are really into it and yada 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 they know all the deals i don't um so you know i'll do a check on it on google lens and i don't see any reason why anybody would fake a dust jacket but there it is. And that would be super cool if you already own a coach. I have sold a couple coaches. Yeah, I do. I did sell that mini one, I think. Um, I've sold a couple coaches. And uh, th these are great. To, I mean, it doesn't have to be a coach. But it's great to keep a leather purse in. Or even shoes, you know. Yeah. So they don't get banged up. Or so it doesn't get scratched or anything. I found him. And I, I don't know, I, I was talking to Nancy about him. I feel like he's Japan. But then I'm like, I'm not sure. Okay, his eyes are definitely making me think farther back, you know. But then his paint is sloppy. But then that makes me think, okay, there was paint loss and somebody tried to fix it. That makes sense. So I'm not sure. It's not that bad. I mean, it's it's a bit, uh, no, it's not a bank. It just looks like a bank. It's just a, a cool um, little fella. So not sure. I found this and it made me think of, um, those uh, paper dolls that I had. I think I still have them. She was $15 at Shirley's Dollhouse in Wheeling, Illinois at some point in time. Well, that doesn't mean she'll be $15 now, but we'll see. Look at the look at how they made them into little flowers instead of fruit. Whatever. Um. Oh. Do I, do you, do you use that? This is the kind. Well, so this is the kind of uh, drainer that my soul sister has, and so I bought it. If they want it, or if my mom wants it, she can have it. Otherwise, I'll take it to their house because it's easy to dump stuff out. This looks like a gym shore. Achoo! Excuse me. I don't think it is, but it might still be. I don't know. It's It says Joy 76. I do not know what kind of markings would have been done at, in 1976. This is a, a hallmark. And it just says, oh gosh, Hallmark, oh, whatever. I could see it during the day today in the place, but I can't see it now. 
Hallmark, whatever. I don't know. We'll see if my assistant can see it. But this doesn't this totally give you Jim Shore? And um, it doesn't matter if it is or it isn't. So anyhow, he he sits on his own or you can hang him. He's so cute. But I did get a Jim Shore lamb or sheep, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm almost positive it's a Jim Shore. That'll be in tomorrow's. That was the one I uh, one of the things I got at the other um at a goodwill stop that I made. Now, I think these are gonna be a love or hate. Nancy said get them. And I know that the swirly ones are back in now. And these are different kind of swirl. These are swirly like with snow. And um and then they've got the little doodad on them. And so it looks like one of them was kind of got a little burnt, but um, they've not been used. And they're like a know, olive green, maybe, with the and then with the little thing. And you know they've picked up a little color along the way, being rubbed up against other probably candles um, or um, Christmas items, whatever. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Now, some of you, I ask you almost weekly, if you're looking for anything special, let me know. And I'll be looking out for you. Well, my girl, Beth, and I've mentioned this several times. I mentioned it earlier tonight. She likes the lighthouses, mostly like in blue or actually like blue beachy scenes, right? That's one thing I know for sure. And then I remember last year she said, keep your eye out. I would like to get a nicer menorah. Um, I don't think she would mind me telling you she's half Jewish and she, they are, uh, trying, their son goes to a Catholic school, but they're trying to raise him with, you know, um, and I know a lot of people that are, um, Jewish and Catholic or Jewish and something else. And they do both best of both worlds. That's a really pretty one. Yeah. And I saw this, I looked it up and I took a picture of it so fast. <laughs> and I think I had taken a picture of it, sent it to her and got a yes before I even had a chance to look it up. I swear. The colors? Yeah. So this one has a variation of these beautiful blue colors in it. And then there's another one that I saw when I looked it up that has like a variety of colors, like maybe primary. So that one is sold. <laughs> um, they went up to, I think, 41 asking. So anyhow, that already went to my girl. Okay, I, I almost wasn't going to get this. Oh, you can tell it was from a... There was a few things in these bags with prices on it. And they must have came from either a flea market or, uh, um, or a... Uh, you know, whatever, a dealer. Anyhow, it's Sophie... She is, like, incredibly brand new. I've never seen one in this good a condition. I might hang on to this for a while and see, but I don't think it will, if her book shows up. By the way she's packaged, I'm guessing that she was donated alone. And the chances of me finding the book are probably slim to none. I have sold Sophie probably 
uh, at least four times over the years. She's not always fast to go, but this one, like I said, looks to be never used, never touched. And, uh, oh, I don't have to worry about, well, I wish I did have to worry about it, but um, squeaker alert. It works. So, I almost passed. I almost tried to give it to Nancy, and she's like, you should try to sell it. And I was like, I, I knew that. <laughs> so I took it back. So, <coughs> okay. This is something that I, I don't know, it kind of would drive me crazy, but maybe not because they're smaller bells, bigger bells, bigger jingle bells are kind of, ugh. but, and some of the, or some of the regular bells, but I like the look of certain ones. Anyhow, this says um, Midwest and then. So that, that's the company. I think it was um, Midwest Imports or whatever. And it says Taiwan on it. So this is a cool one. And get your bells like this. Because if I end up finding bells on a leather strap, woo, the price goes way up. Those are hot. Look what I got, you guys. I've never, never seen the box. I've never seen one in a box, you guys. Look at that. Oh, Snoopy's dancing. This little ding, who cares? The little ding in, <laughs> in Charlie's nose, too. Anyway, it just needs a little love. So, um, it was all taped up up here, of course, because people. And, um, it's from 2011. So, it's not, and I knew it wasn't vintage because, you know, I mean, these have been around for a while. And they probably have been changed over the years. But, uh, um, I took it out. piece in there. Oh. Did I? I think I'm missing a piece. Yep, right there. Somebody cut it. Crap. How dare they? Well, now it's really a Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> Well, I'll look for some more um, picks and see if I can't fix that up. Because I got this part. And look, it even has Snoopy on it. <laughs> but um, that's where it, this one screws in. Here. Well, I've got it upside down, but anyhow. And see, I asked um, Nancy if there was... If an actual red thing came with it, because I didn't see it on here, but it doesn't, like, say red ornament included. But um, now that I kind of see it, I don't see it, see it, but I see, like, some writing on it. So now I'm starting to think, oh, there was a red thing, so... Not a problem. Again, I could find it next week. Seriously. So, we'll see. Or, maybe somebody out there needs this part. And you should just call or um, text me. Or email me or DM me. And we can talk. Oh, let's see where we're at. Hour 14. You guys, I really can't, I can't help myself. 
Okay, I gotta check with Beth on this one because she's a Thomas Kincaid person. But I don't know how big of a Disney person she is. And this is something I've never seen. I could use these singly and use them as, you know, my sign, my thank you notes, but this is just too good. Uh, somebody that is a fan should have this. And it's a uh, Thomas Kincaid Disney Princess Color Your Own Postcards Dreams Collection. Well, I know a lot of you are dream Disney Princess fans. Um, I know Beth is for sure a Thomas Kincaid fan, and I know others of you are as well. So, I mean, and then they have like the picture, let's see, on the other side. And so they're, you know, we'll go through that in depth um, if it makes it to a sale. <laughs> so uh, I got these cars. So when I saw them, they reminded me of when I used to do sales at um, this, this place locally. When I say locally, it's, you know, in the Milwaukee area. And, you know, in a quick hurry, I thought, oh, they might be Tootsie cars. You know, those are really old. So I grabbed them. And they're not. But they are, um, they are older, I think. This one is made in Hong Kong. And it's a Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Brougham? I don't know. It's missing a tire. But, um... The door opens. <laughs> I always thought that that was pretty cool. I did not have a brother, so um, uh, my um, BFF had has had three brothers, so this is that's where I would see these, uh, which is cool. But because you can see the front seat and the steering wheel when you get to open the doors like that. So this is pretty cool. But like I was saying about the Tootsie cars is, uh, or Tootsie toys, I forget what they were called. But she made really cool ornaments with them. And I have some of those ornaments that she's passed. And so I, I won't give them up ever. But um, this is, and, and I got to do a little research on these because this is a matchbook, a matchbook, <laughs> matchbox something that was made in England. I don't know if that's normal for Matchbox cars. So, you know, or if it's because this is a certain age. I don't know. So I'll be looking to find out. Cool. Because you could put a tree on there. See? One of the bottle brush trees. Um, this is, um, I forget what it is. Uh, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, and I can't read the rest right now, so maybe in the light. Or better light, I should say. But um, I'm sure that it's going to be super cool to some kid. Oh, this might be... Uh... No, it's not. No, oh, wait. Okay, I got to play with this tomorrow. I think this might be one of those. Zoom! Here's another one that I thought was cool. It's a uh, Cobol Juniors, um, made in Britain, Simon Snorkel fire engine. So, um, there, that's cool. Um, this is a DeLorean. If you've seen Back to the Future, you know what this is. Um, and it just says DeLorean, Hong Kong, and so. That gives us an idea of the year. Also, we know when the movie was made. And uh, this is cool because, well, this is another one of these. Uh, it's a Ford. What does it say? Uh, there's something over it. I'll have to um, clean it. There's some dried something on it that I might have just cleaned off. I'm not sure. It's a Ford something. And it was made in Great Britain. Um, and it 
does that move? I think it does. No, I don't know. I can't tell. But you never know. I mean, especially because I'm a girl and I didn't have, like I said, I didn't have a lot of experience with these. So, but that's something I haven't seen either. Um, then there's this one, another, you know, fire engines, of course, were pretty uh, popular. And this is uh, Hong Kong Hot Wheels, so that's good. Hong Kong 1976, oh, I think. Yay. And how, oh, that's pretty cool that it's red, white, and blue for 1976. Oh, red and blue, whatever. This one is Hot Wheels. Probably a little newer. I'm not sure. It was made in Malaysia. So, oh, oh, oh. There's always something that you can look for to make it exciting. And this is my favorite one. <laughs> it doesn't even have a, a windshield. It's a... Uh, Made in England. It's a Matchbox series. It's the... I don't know what that says. I don't know if it says. But it has... Um, you can see the seats and then the little um, steering wheel. And the color is... So this could be... Um, if I find a tiny Santa, that would be cool. Because I have a little turquoise and red Christmas stuff. So... Mm. Oh, of course, you know, I gotta keep up with my boho girls. And this was, I think, the first thing I saw when I got there. So, got that. Um. Oh, you know, I'm now I'm just pulling these out of books. But I didn't do it. Nancy did. <laughs> I've got more of these things. Um, but yeah, Nancy got this. And she got another one somewhere. Here it is. And this one wasn't even... Didn't have anything even written on it. And uh, so yeah. Now that's what we're doing. Unless I like the book too. We're just pulling them out. You guys, I have to tell you about something that I found for Nancy. It is huge, huge. I, I don't even, probably, probably a, a yardstick by 24, maybe. 18 or 24, I don't know. And it is from a town uh, just south of Milwaukee called Racine. And um, it, it would not have been of interest to anybody here, I don't think. Because you probably... It, the only thing you guys know about Racine, Wisconsin is Whitman. And, you know, how many times we say that, right? <coughs> Which someday I'm going to get there and go to the library and see the Golden Book collection. They have every single Golden Book, I believe, first edition of every single one. If they don't have the first edition, when they get the first edition, they put the other one in rotation. I think. I think. I, it's been years since I've remembered talking about that, but... Um, Anyhow, um, so that's something that, uh, next time a visitor comes, maybe, or something, I don't know. Or maybe Nancy and I will just go. Um, okay, we're going to wrap this up in a few minutes because it's almost a hunt, an, it's almost an hour and a half. Found this at the end. Uh, it's a pewter collection and it tells me who the people are, but it means nothing to me. So it's either from a story I know nothing of or, well, that's got to be what it is because they're pretty specific. 
anyhow, they're, um, they got moved around in the box. Oh, probably because they faced the other way. Whatever. They're these pewter characters. So that's something that will go through on the sale day. Um, I got this cup, this glass. This is pretty cool. I was so glad that my that I caught it. It is um, from, I believe, the World's Fair. Um, it doesn't say, but I believe this is from the 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 World's Fair, the Toronto World's Fair. I'm not positive. Um, I again gotta do my research, but it says C N Tower Junior High and. Uh, and okay, so when we were looking at this, <laughs> and I showed it to Nancy, and I go, doesn't it? I said, look, it's Ontario, Canada, or it says Ontario on one side and Toronto on the other, and Canada over here. And I said, I think it might be like a souvenir from the uh, World's Fair. And that's, uh, I know I've got um, some collectors for that kind of stuff, even though. Uh, clown alert. It's not a very big clown, so it's okay. Anyhow, so I pull this out and I show her and she goes, do you think it's for a floating candle? And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it could be, but I was thinking it was for drinking out of. <laughs> and so then I'm seeing it as a floating candle thing, but then I'm thinking, well, that would be odd back then for them to have thought of that. And then I read this on here and it says junior high and out of this world cocktail for the young generation, especially formulated in space. I have no idea, but I'll be looking into it. And then it's, it's repeated again. En français. Or for those of you that don't speak French like me in French. <laughs> All right. Coming to the last of oh, a few minutes left. These, I might, I, you guys know I don't like to wash things, but, and I probably won't. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, my hands get dirty with dealing with this stuff. And um, when there's something like this, I don't like it when they're, they look dirty. But the crease in these are so good. I don't want to mess with them. But they're just very dainty. And there's six of them. So. Hmm. Um. All right. I'll get these out of here. All right. I found these at the beginning. And. They came with a very. Or they were near. A very, very, very large. Sheath of wheat. That would have been. A little too large for me to well I mean I could ship it you guys have seen some of the glass vases I've shipped I ain't scared but it just wouldn't have been you know it wouldn't have been worth it I don't think but these are totally within size range and I think I have Oh, I, or did I just, I think I just sold them. I had some other um, flowers, or leaves, I'm sorry. These are probably Home Co. or, um, yeah, they're probably Home Co. It probably says something right here. It's a, nope, that's just a little bit of something of it. I'll look it up. I'm sure it's Home Co. or Home Interiors or Dart Industries, all that stuff, you know. But, um, they'll be sold probably as a pair, but not necessarily. Uh, these, I, I don't know if they work. I gotta get, uh, some batteries and try them out. 
think I need three triple A's or something. But it's cute. And if they don't work, then you know what? You know where they're going. Bag of bits. They're so cute. <laughs> Um, here's a funny thing. This is going to be the last thing. No, it's not. Oh, let's save the funny thing for tomorrow. And I'll show you, I'll wrap it up with something boring. <laughs> <coughs> so, it's not boring because I love it. It's boho. And it's, uh, I, I'm just going to probably clean it up a little bit. And I think it probably could be straightened out, but I don't mind that it's a little wonky. And, you know, you can probably just put some crystals and stuff on here. And it looks, it will look like um, bamboo, even though it's not. I'm almost certain of that. But I just think it's cool. It's got the, got the look. Um, it also feels like a flute or something. So that's it for today. And um, tomorrow I am going to have hmm, some ideals. Mm -hmm, yep, you, should, you know I found some more. And anyway, I got some stuff that I literally want to take this bag to bed with me because... If my assistant looks at it, I will have her, no. I want a genuine reaction because it's likely not going to be that good, which makes it even better sometimes. But anyhow, um, you guys will love it. I know. And so, um, that'll be it for now. And I don't know what day this is going to get posted. Probably on the day I'm supposed to have a sale. And then I might, um, yeah, probably. And then, uh, you'll see the next part on Friday. Um, so, yeah, Thursday and Friday. Maybe I should set it to release at noon when I usually have my sale. Maybe that's what I'll do instead of my usual 5 a.m. Or maybe I'll do two in one day. I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. But anyhow, in the meantime, make sure you hit the thumbs up on this one. And it would be great if you didn't already hit that notification bell so you know when the other one does come out, okay? Or if I, when I do another live, um, you know, whatever. And uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and tell all your friends. And Andrea, if you are watching and if you saw it this far through, you better make sure to uh, tell all my friends at the bins to hit the subscribe button. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.